50 years of the Melbourne Star Dragster. This is the 50th anniversary. It's been 50 over 50 years since Melbourne Star made the Dragster in Australia. And they did a 50th anniversary release. And this is the bike, one of two they designed and released in 2020. Uh, people had to wait a fair while due to COVID to receive them. Uh, a lot of story of the same I imagine for a lot of things. Um, one of the specialties with this bike it, for the 50th anniversary came with an American made shifter. Uh, there it is there and a nice touch of all the stars in the shifter itself. It came with a 50th anniversary decal to show it's a 50 years. Um, there was two bikes they made, they're identical of course, but different colours. So this is a, it's a sort of a crimson colour, this one. Uh, Melbourne Star didn't name, don't name their colours. And it came in a blue. And the blue I have, which is in the box behind it, still in the box with the shifter on top, in the box. Uh, I decided to build this one and, and ride this one due to the fact that it had the anniversary uh, decals, Flaming Star, which is what they had on the anniversary models back in the 70, 70s, the anniversary model. Um, and, you know, some touches like uh, traditional sort of um, streamers up there, yearly designed chain guard, and it came, they came with these pastel seats. It's a pastel type color, had a fleck in it. Quite nice, I like the pastel. Um, hadn't seen pastel before. Uh, they released this one. The blue was obviously the same. It has a blue pastel seat with the silver bars in it. So the blue one's in the box, uh, which I might um, keep it in there for a few years yet. Now they retailed for $1,000, um, they're very limited, uh, they only made 150 of each, very limited edition, and um, only collectors I think got them really, and they're, they're heavy GB long frame, obviously adults are going to ride them, so um, they thought about all that which is good, and seeing they came out before the shifter was available, they put a free speed clicker on the on the handle so it was set up to be a free speed has a modern hub in there as you can see modern free speed hub so that's the 50th anniversary melbourne star drag stuff now if we go back in time the first reissue was in 2010 so 10 years earlier they reissued the melbourne star drag stuff and these are these bikes they put out a blue one for the boys. Uh, these were made in China. Uh, some collectors obviously weren't happy with that, but if you look at the history of the, our dragster, um, the parts came from all around the world, Britain, Australia, Japan, etc. like that, so it did, doesn't worry me. Uh, obviously another redesigned chain guard for this model. Some people like it, some people don't, I quite like it. Uh, what I found, did find, is the decals and paint on it are excellent. Excellent. So you can't complain about that. To me, these were based on the 68 short frame. So more designed for children, I think, in 2010 than the, two, the 220, which was a heavy duty long frame designed for adults um, or collectors, really. So. This is in 2010. These retail for $500 in 2010. Now you might say, well, where's the girls' bikes? Well, in 2010 they did think about it and they produced this as the girls' bike. Notice it doesn't have a girls' frame. Obviously to save money, they just had kept the same style frame, but what they did to make it more uh, enticing to the girls is they gave it a much prettier colour and prettier decals, even floral, which the uh, 70s girls bikes had floral decals instead of um, just saying Melbourne Star and things like that. Floral up there on the headstock. 
And I must say, you know, out of all the years, like Melbourne Star produced the drags are from 1968 to 1980. And they had uh, various models and obviously lots of different colours, but that crimson on that bike, to me, would have to be probably the nicest colour they ever produced. That is striking. It's a deep burgundy. Um, even those crimson decals are, are, are really striking, I think. So, uh, again, they came out uh, with a different type of seat. This is black with gold stripes, whereas the boys got black with the silver stripes. So, those seats only pertain to these models. 2010, $500. They retail for, obviously kept in this condition, uh, they'll be worth more now. A lot of guys changed them up when they got them, they put different seat, longer sissy bars, you know, different seats and things like that, which would have depreciated the bike, probably changed the chain guard and all sorts of crazy things. Uh, always keep a collectible bike original. Uh, this one came out with an original Melbourne Star Bell for it, whereas the boys' bikes didn't have one. that. Dragster rear view mirror is not original. I put that on there, uh, but obviously that can easily be taken off to make the bike totally original. So the story behind the Dragsters really it comes from America. Uh, back in 1963, the owner of Penguin Bikes, sorry, Huffy Bikes, produced what they call the Huffy Penguin, and he was uh, looking at the the what the guys were doing with their motorbikes at the time, and they're putting extended handlebars on them and, you know, sissy bars and longer seats and things like that. And he said, hmm, how would that go in a bicycle? Which he produced the Huffy Penguin in 1963, under controversy, because Huffy, you know, weren't sure if it was going to sell. It took off like wildfire. Um, and then later on, uh, Swin made their version called the Stingray. It sold, you know, incredibly well, and the rest of the world followed. Melbourne Star produced their first dragster in 1968, the short frame. These, to me, are based on the 68 short frame. They have a lighter frame in metal, if you like, in tubing and that, than the, the 2020 one, because I'd say this are more designed for, for children, whereas the 2020 is, is a, 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 for adult riding. Now, if we go back to the real McCoy, uh, 1970. This is the girls' bike of 1970, Melbourne Star Dragster. As you can see, it does have the traditional girls' frame, which when they did the reissues, they didn't bother to, to replicate, due to cost, obviously. They could... Uh, do that and um, with the girls bikes back in those days they had streamers they obviously had a shorter handlebar than the boys the, 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 than the um, geared, geared bikes these are all coasters of course these were coasters as well in 2010 there's no gears that they call coaster bikes back brake coaster bike the girls bike at the time was a back brake coaster bike and obviously, you know, some nice touches, um, white and floral seats. There was various colors, obviously red and green and things like that. Uh, this one still has the original thin white walls, Melbourne star flags you could put on them. So a lot of fun, uh, you know, the rack, obviously, and things like that. So that's the 1970, that's 50 years uh, if you like, from 1970 to 2020 of the 50th anniversary. In 1969, they produced the first long frame, geared long frame, and this is the version here, a free speed blue long frame. Uh, has all the accessories that they don't put on the reissues because they just probably don't want to go there. Uh, cost and etc. Um, if you're a kid in 1969, this is the bike you wanted. And it had uh, all the accessories, the twin headlights, horns, free speed, extended sissy bar, blue and white seat, etc. 
and probably the most collectible bike out of all of these. These can re pull, I shouldn't say retail, these can pull now up to $3,000, these bikes in this condition with the accessories. Some guys will pay $500 just to get lights in that condition and very rare to even get them. You've got to wait for a collector to maybe let them go. Um, different decals in 1969 of course. So there we have it. 50 years of the Melbourne Star Dragster, Australian Dragster. 1969, 1970. They made bikes up to 1980. 2010 they produced a reissue. There's the girls bike, the boys bike. And then in 2020, the 50th anniversary dragster was produced. We'd like to thank our American brothers for kicking it off with the Penguin Huffy in 1963. The rest is history. These bikes are loved around the world. Very collectible, appreciate and value. Thanks for watching.